Mabuhay! Welcome to St. Paul's Hill in Malacca, Malaysia. Why I have to leave the comfort of my room and my apartment just to wander? My question is answered. Nothing can beat the traveler's stories. Hello! Assalamualaikum! The life-changing experience in travel submerged myself with the most wonderful stories to tell on how my simple journey can alter the trajectory of my life. How to get to St. Paul's Hill? I start my climb at the foot of the hill where Porta de Santiago is located. I follow the well-maintained old brick stairs to reach the top. The hill isn't that high and you get the perfect view of Milaka's coastline. The hill has refreshing surroundings. Take the chance to walk through history. It is also covered by well-manicured lawn and used as the resting place or the burial ground of Dutch noblemen and spouses. Their tombs are with Latin and Portuguese inscriptions. Few tombs are still found around and never touched by the Malaysian government to relocate. Malaysians' deep respect of their past is very commendable. Deep history behind and you will mesmerize as you bring yourself 500 years when the event took place. The St. Paul's Church here in Malacca is the oldest and also believe the first permanent church in Southeast Asia, built in 1521 by Portuguese ship captain Duarte Coelho in gratitude to the Virgin Mary for saving his life from the large storm in South China Sea. These five century remains of St. Paul's Church is another valuable historical monument from the mighty European empires. They left us with heritage to remember. But what lies behind this impressive structure? Only the history can tell. This church has been standing on the top of the summit majestically for centuries and one of the reminders of Milaka's beautiful landmark. The church has engraved tombstones are leaning beneath the wall. They are the only surviving remnants could tell the deep historical value of this ruin. It really amazes me looking at and reading inscriptions on the tombstones. The tombstones are larger than life slabs of rocks. Some are higher than humans. Allowing yourself to explore more of the church it has covered metal cage. St. Francis Xavier was buried for nine months, then brought his body to Goa, India for his final resting place following his last will. These days, these admirable works in the past lay in ruins with no roof, doors, and windows. Still intact, making a significant historic site for Christians around the world and the people who love history. This church witnessed the conquest of Portuguese, the Dutch, and English when they flexed their muscles in the Far East. Around the St. Paul's Church, it has impressive view. One of the striking things is the monument of St. Francis Xavier. The statue was built in 1952 in order to commemorate the saint. If you notice and curious the missing right arm of the statue, a tree fell and broke off the right arm when it was completed and planned to unveil in the morning. Until today, the statue of St. Francis Xavier stood with missing right arm. Jose Rulado at 52. Fire!